How's it going everyone? In this video, we have some big news on changes coming to Raw and SmackDown. A current AEW Ring of Honor champion is potentially leaving the company soon and a whole lot more. But before we begin, please make sure to drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, so for our first story of today, we have the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and AEW Dynamites. So according to a new report from Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics, Monday Night Raw drew 1 million, 509,000 viewers with a 0.49 in the key demo rating, NXT drew 677,000 viewers and a 0.21 in the key demo rating, and AEW Dynamite drew 687,000 viewers with a 0.22 in the key demo rating. Next up, we have the latest update on mid-card titles for WWE's women's division. So over the past few weeks, there have been quite some talk about creating new mid-card titles for WWE's women's division. But as time went on, it did seem as though the initial report was simply just a rumor. However, according to a new report from PWN, mid-card championships are quotes in the works for WWE's women's division. However, it was not stated when the new championship titles would be introduced. Next, we have some news on big changes coming to both Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. So following SmackDown's recent move to the USA Network and Raw cutting back to two hours, it looks like both shows will see a major change in January. Because according to WrestleVotes Radio, both Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown will become three-hour shows. This big change will be implemented starting in January when Raw moves to Netflix. Moving on to our next story, we have some big news that a current AEW Ring of Honor champion could be leaving the company very soon. Because according to a new report from Sean Ross Sapp of FIFO Select, although many people in AEW assumed that he'd signed a new deal after becoming a double Ring of Honor champion, apparently Dustin Rhodes has still not signed a new AEW deal, which means that unless a new deal is agreed upon between between both parties, Dustin Rhodes could end up leaving AEW at the end of September. So now guys, I want to give you my thoughts and opinions on all of the stories that we discussed today. Starting off with our first story, we did talk about the ratings for Monday Night Raw, NXT, and AEW Dynamites. And according to the report from Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics, uh, Monday Night Raw and NXT did see a pretty nice increase in the ratings that Department, but again, AEW Dynamite did see another drop in viewership, which is, again, guys, pretty concerning because just a few months ago, AEW Dynamite was drawing around 750,000 viewers. And again, this does appear to be the new normal for them, for them to draw around the 700,000 viewer mark, which is pretty insane if you really think about it, because just a few months ago, they were doing better. But as time has gone on, you would think that with MJF returning, Swerve Strickland becoming champion, and also AEW signing Mercedes Monet, Ricochet, that you would think that that would create some interest with fans, but apparently that has not. So I do think that Tony Khan needs to do something in order for uh, fan interest to be increased because the ratings for Dynamite have been, have been pretty bad in my opinion. The next story that we talked about was on uh, a small update on the on plans, I guess you could say, to create new WWE Women's Mid-Card uh, Championships. And it does look like, guys, uh, the report, the previous report that was or that did come out just a few weeks ago was not just a rumor. But it does look like it will be actually happening. And that is because PWN did a report. That's mid-card championships are quotes in the works for WWE's women's division, which is pretty awesome in my opinion, because I think that uh, having mid-card titles for the women's division does give another opportunity for stars who are... I guess you could say stuck in the mid-card to actually have something to fight for other wrestlers, you know, because... 
in regards to the you know main titles, the women's world title and the women's WWE championship, you only see a couple of the same stars fighting for it over and over again. And I think that with uh, WWE creating new mid-card titles like perhaps the Intercontinental title and the US title for the women's division, that will create a lot more... Uh, competition and i do think that that will also create a lot of interest from fans to see you know new storylines and new uh championships in the future so overall i do think that having make card titles for the women's division is a pretty awesome thing that wwe is reportedly working on the other story that we talked about guys was on big changes coming to uh, both Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown and that is that both shows will actually be uh, turning into three hour shows which is you know not great. Uh, in my opinion, so I would say enjoy uh, the shows right now because when uh, beginning in January they will be a lot longer shows. The other story that we talked about was on Dustin Rhodes and apparently he could be leaving AEW pretty soon by actually the end of this month, September, because according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select, although many people did assume that an AEW assumed that because uh, Dustin Rhodes ended up becoming a double Ring of Honor champion that he'd, you know, sign a new deal to remain with the company, but apparently that was not the case. He has still, as of this moment, he has still not signed a new deal to remain with AEW. And although I did not see any reports saying that WWE would be interested in, you know, getting back Dustin Rhodes to the company. So uh, to perhaps have, you know, a storyline with Cody Rhodes like they had in AEW. I did not see any reports saying that there was interest from WWE or interest from Dustin Rhodes to return. But yeah, it does look like Dustin Rhodes could be leaving the company pretty soon in just a matter of weeks unless a new deal is agreed upon between both parties. And uh, I do think that him being 55 years old, I do not think that Dustin Rhodes has a lot left in terms of, you know, in-ring action because if I'm not mistaken, he did undergo some surgeries or he was out of action for quite some time uh, due to surgeries. However, despite him, you know, potentially not being an active wrestler, I did see many reports saying that he is very beneficial in terms of backstage, helping out the uh, women's division and also being... I guess you could say like a producer role, him taking on that role. He has been very good at that. So even though, even if uh, Dustin Rhodes goes, leaves AEW and goes to WWE and doesn't, you know, have any matches, he could be very, very valuable to the new wrestlers that WWE is bringing up. And he could be, uh, he could have that role as a mentor or potentially even, even a future producer, which could be very good for, for him in WWE. So I guess we'll have to wait and see guys what ends up happening with Dustin Rhodes because the clock for him to, you know, uh, for AEW to sign him to a new deal is expiring. So it will be very interesting to see what happens with Dustin Rhodes and his current situation with AEW. So with that being said, guys, that is all of the news that we have for today. So just a quick recap on all of the stories that we discussed. We did talk about the ratings. Uh, we also talked about uh, the latest update on the mid-card titles to be introduced for WWE's women's division. We also talked about both Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown switching to three hours when uh, Raw moves to Netflix. And we also talked about Dustin Rhodes' AEW contract expiring very soon. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of those stories in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.